In this video, you'll learn how to use ActiveCampaign hidden fields to store additional information about your contacts, like where they came from when they fill out a form, without them seeing that custom field. It's a pretty cool feature and pretty helpful for preventing spam bot form submissions. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wild Mail, where we help make ActiveCampaign even better for Europe-based businesses. Let's dive in. So first, let's talk about what hidden fields in ActiveCampaign actually are. Now, when you have a form, you typically have different fields like first name, last name, email, and maybe some other information. And the contact filling out that form can obviously see this so that they can enter their information. But with a hidden field, a hidden field is a text-only custom field that's not visible to the contact that allows us to pass information with that contact when they submit the form. So it's important to note that there are different forms in Active Campaign, different form types, and hidden fields only work with inline. They don't work with floating box, floating bar, or modal forms. If you have any questions uh, about the different types of forms or about custom fields, you can check out our playlist on marketing automation in English. There will be a link at the end of this tutorial where you can go check out our other videos on those topics. Now, let's get into why you would want to use hidden fields for your marketing automation. First, it can allow you to track the source of that contact. So we can actually pass parameters from the URL into this hidden field without the contact being aware of it. And we can pass that source information with the contact when they submit your form. So that's the first main way that we would use it. Second, it allows you to prevent spam bot form submissions. And we'll go over that in just a second. But first, let's walk through how to set up the hidden fields in a form and active campaign. So first, we're going to jump into active campaign, or in our case, you will see the W for wild mail. Wild mail is our white labeled rebranded version of active campaign. I'll describe more about what that means at the end of the tutorial. In the bottom left, you'll see site, click into that. And while that loads, you can see here, you're going to navigate to the forms overview page. You can locate the form you wish to work with. In our case, we're going to create a new form. So I'll go to forms, create a form, and we'll have more videos on this. As I mentioned, if you go to the marketing automation playlist in English, you'll see more videos explaining the custom uh, custom fields, the different forms, etc. We're going to call this test right now. Remember, you have to select inline form to use a hidden field. It will not work with these other form types. You can set up your different actions for the list. You do have to select a list. We will use our main list and you can check out this video here which will explain the best practices for setting up one main list and then segmenting by tags. And we'll hit create. And once you do that, it will open the form builder. So you'll have full name and you'll notice the star email is of course required. Full name is not, but uh, highly recommended that you, that you grab their name. And typically we'll tell you to remove the active campaign branding. If you go to style, scroll down, you'll see AC branding and you can turn that off depending on your plan. And then if I go back to fields, custom fields, and I add a field with a plus. So we will call this source test because I think we already have one that is titled source for doing exactly what I'm about to show you. So source test, go to group, select the group, that that, uh, that that custom field belongs in. And then for the text input field type, it is going to be text input, but we're going to go all the way to the bottom and select hidden field, hit add. Now to add that field to the form, in the right hand menu, you're going to see all of the different custom fields. Go all the way to the bottom and select the field that you just created and click, and you're going to drag it onto the form wherever you'd like to place it. And you'll notice it says, this is a hidden field. There's no settings or anything to adjust. That's the hidden field that you just created. Uh, and then again, this way you can pass information about the contact when they hit submit. Now that you've added the hidden field to the form, I'm going to show you two ways to pass information of fixed value into the hidden field without the contact knowing as they hit submit on the form. So the first way to do this is to add the hidden field to your form's URL. I'm going to use a separate doc to show you exactly how to do this. You're going to get the personalization tag for the field that you created, in our case, source test, by going to list fields, 
and then you're going to copy it and remove the percentage sign. So here's how you do that. In Wild Mail, go to lists, and using the search fields function, we will look up the field that we just created. And this here is the personalization tag in between the percentage uh, signs. So I'll grab that. In my document, I will hit paste and just remove those percentage signs. Now we're going to go get the form URL. So we'll go back to site, go to forms. Here's the test form that we just created with the hidden field. Go to integrate in the top right. And you'll see the different options for how to integrate this form with your website. Click link and copy that. Go back to your doc. We're gonna paste that in. And now what we're going to do, if I go back to our steps, we're going to append the URL with question mark, then the hidden field name that we just grabbed from the personalization tag, and then the value that we want to fill in. It's going to be a fixed value, okay? So for our example, let's use source test, FB organic for Facebook organic. And we're just using this as an example. Uh, let's say we're only going to use this form with organic Facebook traffic. We're going to set that a fixed value so we know that anyone that fills in this form came from that traffic source. So back in our doc here, remember it's question mark and then the name is here so we can copy that if we want. And the equal sign and then our value that we want to fill in. So in our case, FB organic for our example. So now I'm going to show you what this looks like from the contacts perspective when they're filling out the form. So I'll paste that form into the URL search bar and you can see it says source test equals FB organic. I'll type in J testing email would be testing at testing123.com and I'm going to hit submit and this will pass FB organic as the value into our hidden field source test. So of course the contact can't see it on the form but we know it's there. We'll hit submit. Thanks for signing up. If I go back into my contacts, let's find that contact we just created, J testing. And when I scroll down to the hidden field source test, we have FB organic has been filled in by the value that's in the URL. So that's the first way to pass a fixed value into a hidden field in active campaign. Now I'm going to show you the second way that you can update a hidden field for a contact using the full embed code for that form. So if I go into forms, remember it's site forms, the test form that we just built and I go to integrate. I'm going to get the full embed code, copy that, paste here. And now we're going to control F or command F to use the find in document function, the search function and type in hidden. And we are looking for the section in the code that has hidden and it has no value next to it. So if I go here, it looks like this. Hidden, name of the field, 115, value. There's nothing in between these quotation marks. And this is where we want to enter the value for that field. So in our example, we had FB organic between the quotation marks. And now when you embed this form onto a page, a landing page on your site and a contact comes to it, they fill out their name, they fill out their email, this value will be passed for that hidden field. The same way as with the URL, but instead of seeing it in the URL, it's in the code of the form itself. So I've shown you two ways that you can pass a fixed value, but there is another way that you can pass a dynamic value using a bit of script and Elementor or uh, Thrive Leads, whatever you're using for your form building software, let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make a follow-up video to explain how that can be set up. Finally, I mentioned that you can use this technique to prevent spam bot form submissions. So let me show you how to do that. 
You're going to repeat the steps that I showed you to create a hidden field and title it spam bot. Then you're going to attach that to a form, but leave it blank. Don't fill it in with any response because what will happen is if you receive a submission on that form that fills in that hidden field, you can be pretty certain that it was a bot that filled in that field because a human filling out that form can't see the hidden field, whereas a bot is able to fill in all fields, whether they're hidden or visible. Okay. And although this is a great secondary or, or backup way to prevent spam bot submissions, the number one way is still to use captcha or using double opt-in. You can check out this video above for how to build out double opt-in automation in active campaign. So just to recap, you want to use hidden fields to collect information about contacts, like where they came from, their source, etc. Or you could use it as an additional measure to prevent spam bot submissions on your forms. Now, if you have any questions at all about how to use this or passing dynamic information through the forms in a hidden field, drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out. And I mentioned before I would cover Wild Mail. Now, Wild Mail is our rebranded white labeled version of Active Campaign. We're one of the top resellers of Active Campaign in the world, and nothing changes from their software. At its core, Wild Mail is Active Campaign. There's no changes to your pricing, there's no changes to your API integrations, your email automations, your sequences, your campaigns, your login, your password password, it all stays the same. We inherit your billing cycle from Active Campaign, which allows us to stack additional benefits for Europe-based businesses for free on top. So we've got premium localized support. It's in multiple languages. We've got a response time in under one hour in French, Spanish, German, English, Romanian. Okay. We also have a library of free resources, free training that you can use for your business. And finally, we have wild metrics. Wild Metrics is no code API based tracking for your customer journey. So you can use tags to track revenue, track revenue by automations, revenue by email campaigns, and you can easily make sense of your data to make decisions and optimize to hit your next revenue goals. So that's Wild Metrics. That's also included for free. If you've never used Active Campaign or Wild Mail before, you'll see there's a 14 day free trial through us below. If you are an Active Campaign user, you can also move your accounts to us. If you're Europe based, we definitely recommend doing this as you'll be able to get those benefits for free on top. There's no migration. It is just moving your billing to us. It's a very simple process, it takes about five or 10 minutes and you won't be billed by us. It's just your next billing cycle on the same schedule you had with Active Campaign will be through us. If you have any questions about that, feel free to let us know in the comments below as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more Active Campaign tutorials every week and make sure to hit that like button if you got value from today's tutorial. That's it for me. We'll see you next video. Cheers.